So in this video, I'm going to be talking about time management during your exams. Time management is extremely important because even if you have like studied everything, if you are not managing your time properly, you won't be able to score the marks that you really want. I am Rohit Pivya, a third year medical student in Mother Medical College. And in this channel, I post videos about all these academic stuffs. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. First of all, have a clear cut plan. Yendu or visiye team plan panna ma panna ipritta. Plan panni panna na. So as a third year medical student, I have two essays and ten short notes to do. So I have to plan accordingly. If I am having this much amount of time, I have to separate among these two essays, ten short notes, and you have got three hours. So you can give. 30 minutes for your first essay 30 minutes for your second essay so one hour is gone and now you have got 10 more short notes so try giving like 10 minutes for each of them just 10 minutes all right so just give 10 minutes another 100 minutes of your time is gone so you are now left with just 20 more minutes and in that 20 more minutes do your mcqs so this is the plan guys 30 minutes for essay 10 minutes for each short notes now you are going to ask me what if i cross the time see you are writing your first essay and if it has crossed 30 minutes now leave the essay right there leave some pages go to the next essay start writing once you're done with that if you have any residual time in that 30 minutes come back to the first essay and write it or else go to the short note write the short notes in 10 minutes like once you you have to make sure that you give only this limited amount of time to do a particular question because trust me you will actually have some extra time towards the end because there are some short notes that need literally just like 5 minutes to complete so don't waste all your time at the start itself so because if you're wasting all the time in the start you will end up stressed towards the end of the exam so make sure that it doesn't happen allocate a particular amount of time to a particular question just that and once the timer runs out once the 10 minutes for the short note ends even if you're not done with the short note stop it right then and there leave a paper go to the next short note all right and now going to the mcqs see mcqs will be really easy i scored 20 out of 20 in most of my mcq papers so it's it's going to be super easy it's going to be really easy so and it's not going to be taking you like 20 whole minutes i completed the mcqs in like 5 minutes 5 minutes itself is like a lot of time you can literally complete them in 3 minutes they're going to be super easy so you'll be having some extra time towards the end as well if you are like writing the first essay and you can be writing it for one whole half and then you will be like all right i i have two more hours like i have a lot of time but then in that two more hours you have to write one more essay which could potentially take one hour more and 10 short notes and 20 mcqs so that's a lot of work to do essay is equal to 30 minutes once the 30 minutes timer runs out stop it stop it right there all right stop it right there go to the next question 10 minutes for short note once you're done with that go to the next one you will be having time to complete you will have a lot of time to complete in fact you will have a lot of time to complete you can do this but if you are like wasting time from the start mark that's it that's that's the end you you won't be able to complete and one more very important thing is maintain the pace from the very beginning like don't write slowly the start and then towards the end just rush through the whole thing maintain the pace throughout the whole thing you got this like in my case now from the start i will write i'll really write fast i'll write fast i'll, I'll do all these and for example there might be in, in case of anatomy i'll just draw the diagrams in pen and just leave it i won't be coloring them at that moment not so towards the end if i have extra time na i'll come and color them because coloring is not important you have you don't really have to color them it's not really important you have to spend the time properly allocate a time do that so like once uh, in my case what happened na i completed both the essays in uh, in less than 45 minutes and then i gave like 10 minutes to each short notes some of them took took like 15 minutes some of them took like uh, 20 minutes some took just 10 minutes so i happened to complete my entire theory paper within just two hours and then one more whole hour i had just these 20 mcqs to do and i can decorate my paper as much as i want in the rest of the one hour i underlined the important points so that it's like helping the examiners know what i'm actually trying to say i colored i added extra diagrams in wherever place i can find i i made the paper look even more neat i'm i'm trying to show my efforts so that's it guys this is it so the summary is allocate a time stick to it thoroughly you will have a lot of time you got this so all the very best for your upcoming exam and in this video i have talked about how to present your exam paper properly it's going to be really useful for you so i'll meet you in this video